Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Hold on. Happy Monday. It's Monday for me. It should be Wednesday when you're watching this. Sorry I missed Monday's upload, by the way. I actually started filming, like I started vlogging yesterday, and I just, my words weren't working. I, I just, I wasn't in the right mindset, I guess. I think I was just messy headed. So I just like, can't film today. Oh my God. I don't know if it's the lighting. It might be the lighting. It's not too harsh. I think it might be. I've started this video so many times. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I can't film. We're gonna scratch this and do it tomorrow. So we're starting again today, but like I mentioned, it's Monday. You guys are sitting on my desk and there's kind of like, I kind of look like I'm like red because my computer screen is like the light is on my face. Anyway, I am obviously working today, but I wanted to take a quick break so I could start off this vlog. I think I'm gonna film like today and tomorrow maybe and combine it, combine it, but we'll just see how much I end up filming and you know what happens but you may have noticed I'm wearing some new jewelry which I wanted to talk about real quick if you watch me a lot you probably have or maybe you've noticed I don't typically change my jewelry that often I really love some good just like staple pieces I can wear every day I know that they're gonna last me I know that they're good quality um, and that is why I've recently started wearing jewelry from a brand called PD Paola. Shout out to them because they are actually sponsoring today's video. Yay, we have a sponsor. We love that. PD Paola is a jewelry company based in Barcelona, Spain. They have so many beautiful pieces um, on their website. I will link their website down below. Before I forget, I do have a discount code as well. It's Sarah15. You can get 15% off of their entire site, which is such a good deal. They did send over a ton of amazing pieces, a bunch of different earrings. I have some different size hoops that they sent over, different designed earrings. I'm wearing some earrings right now. I'm also wearing the two necklaces that I grabbed. I'm just wearing them stacked because I think it's really pretty. They also sent over some rings. So there really is something for everything on their website. But okay, let me take a little step back. Like I said, they're a jewelry company based out of Barcelona. That's where they were started. And they were actually started by two siblings, which I just think is like so cool. Very close with my siblings. So I can't imagine starting a business with them, but I just think that's so cool. Their mission is to inspire women, which I also completely stand behind. Um, and they're really big on sustainability. So they have a whole page on their website. You guys can go take a look. And they believe that, you know, environmental and social responsibility is the way to go. So again, I will have them linked down below with my code. Please go check them out. Um, thank you to them for sponsoring today's video and go treat yourself or go treat a loved one. So yeah, like I said, it's Monday. Um, I obviously need to finish working for the day, but I need to run to Ulta later on. Um, I wanna get some like stuff done around the apartment and just do like a little bit of a, a deep clean, but oh, my computer light just came off me. Um, just some cleaning around the apartment and yeah. That's it. That's all I got right now. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm excited to hang out with you guys. I feel like I'm in the mood to film. Like sometimes I'm not, sometimes I am. Today I am. So that's that. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. All right, I just got to Ulta. Someone is walking towards me and I'm talking to my camera. It's really awkward. I just finished work and like I said, I just got to Ulta. So I'm gonna run in. I need to grab a few things. I wanted to do like a, um, what's it called? A like pickup order, but for some reason they, my like payment methods weren't working which is weird because i use them all the time i don't know why but they weren't working so i was just like okay i'll just go in and grab stuff which is dangerous because i feel like pickup orders and you're not going to grab like extra shit but if i'm in person where am i but i'm gonna run in quickly i have four things that i need so we'll see what i come out with and then also it's like really sunny sorry i'm being all squinty but yusuf and i also actually placed well i placed an order for ikea to pick up tonight um, I would go right now, but it's just like not ready yet because I placed it like an hour ago and we're getting a day bed for the Office we were gonna do like a pull-out couch. Actually, my mom gave me the idea of doing a day bed She was like it'll probably be more comfortable and I just think it'll kind of like work better in that space So I ordered that in Ikea as well. So I'm gonna pick that up later tonight I don't know why I'm telling you guys. I need to just show you. I have such a bad habit of doing that It's quite bad. Okay for now I'm gonna go into Ulta. I will bring you guys and let's go. Okay. 
Okay, we have an alcohol, as you can tell. I did make a mistake, I thought, I, wow. I said I was going in for four things. I was actually going in for five, and then I did get an extra, whatever. So, let's go through it real quick. Starting out, this went viral on TikTok a while ago. My hair's a mess, by the way, whatever. It's like the Revlon oil absorbing roller. People like rave about this thing, so I wanted to try it. Especially living in Florida, it's hot. I'm sweating a lot more. So, let's try this. It was the last one they had in stock. Could be a good thing. Then I also saw that they sell like replacement balls for it. Which I mean I guess makes sense. Like it's gonna probably be gross after a while. And you can take the whole ball out and remove it and wash it. I don't know, okay. It's gonna be able to see anything on camera. I like that did actually do slightly let me do it on my forehead. My forehead's like oily. I don't know. I feel like I need to do this in front of my mirror because I could not see. I feel like that actually maybe did make a difference. I don't know. Do I look refreshed? I need to do that in front of a mirror so I can actually tell, but that's the first thing I grabbed. And then the whole reason I kind of initially wanted to go to Ulta is because I was at my sister's apartment a few weeks ago. I was cat sitting. Well, just like checking in on her cat one day. And I my hair was like super frizzy. And so being a sister, I looked under her bathroom cabinet and she had this hair oil and it smells amazing. It's the way, I think that's how you say it, O-U-A-I. It's like a huge pretty popular brand. It just smells so good and I feel like I'll actually use it because it smells so good. I have hair oils like as is, but I just don't use them. Like, I don't reach for them. So I figured if one smells as good as this, it will actually reach for it. So grab that. And then this was the one thing that wasn't on my list. These are the Pixie um, Vitamin C Tonic To Go Brightening Toner. These are just like under, oh wait, no. Oh no. I got the wrong one. I meant to get the under eye pads, but I got toning pads. So that will have to be returned. That's a bummer. And then I also grabbed the Tree Hut Moisturizing Shave Oil and the Scent Watermelon. I've heard that this um, shave oil is supposed to be really good. And I usually use like a shaving cream, but I'm almost out. Oh, that smells so good. And people like rave about this, especially like from Tree Hut. So. I wanted to try that. And then last few things, I wanted a makeup spray, like a setting spray, because again, being in Florida, I just feel like it would like help my makeup stay at least in the summer when it is as hot as it is. So I got the Milani Make It Last Original setting spray. Should we do it? Let's see how the mister is. A little spray, like a little spray-y, you know what I'm saying? It kind of like juts at you. What am I trying to say? It's like a little aggressive, but it's not bad, okay? We'll see how that is. And then lastly, I got the e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. It's just like a makeup balm to melt away like your makeup. Because right now I'm using a, um, what is it? What's it called? Something water. Oh, micellar water. I like it, but I prefer a balm just like personally. So I wanted to try this one. I used to use one from a different brand, but it was more expensive. It has no scent. And I figured that like it all kind of does the same thing. So we got this. Comes with a little scooper thing, which is nice. And we will try that out tonight. So that's that. I'm really, your paws are so loud. I am really bummed that I got the wrong one of these, especially because that means I have to go back and return it. Like that's what I'm more annoyed about, you know? Whatever, I should have looked. They had like three things next to each other, but the iPads were in a container like this too. So I thought that like all three of them next to each other, I thought they were just all different like types of iPads. So I was like, oh great, like brightening under eye. That's my Ulta haul. And now I need to do a little quick tidy up. It's not gonna take me long, but I just wanna like put some stuff away. And um, yeah, so let's do it. Apartment is looking a little bit better. Ignore my water bottle, and then that's the Ulta bag that I need to return, and then those I also need to return from Target. But order from um, IKEA is ready, so we're gonna go grab this. Yusuf's gonna come with me. I'm gonna return, like I said, I have Target returns, the Ulta return, and then I also have a Home Depot return. Actually, we're gonna do all that, and then we're gonna build this thing. Hopefully, we'll get that done tonight. I don't know if we'll be able to finish the whole thing. I'm not gonna bring you guys with me because you just came to Ulta with me. So I will see you guys when. We get home with a large piece of furniture. I am home from 
oh my god, I look like a lion, from Ikea. Well, we're home from Ikea. Um, we got the day bed, what am I trying to say? And we're gonna build it tomorrow, so I'll build that with you guys tomorrow. But we did also do the returns and stuff, and I exchanged the Ulta wrong product for the right product. So what I meant to say that I got is the Pixie Beautify Vitamin C and licorice, interesting, brightening eye patches. So they're just like, well, I'm gonna put them on. You'll see. That's that, I'm gonna take off my makeup and I figured we would do it together, kind of, so that I can try out the e.l.f. Clint of, you, I probably was not in shot at all. Also, I just put on this bathrobe. It's from Skims and I love it. A little overpriced. Actually, to be honest, I don't know how much it is. I got it as a gift, but I do love this thing. I wear it so often. I'm gonna throw a headband on. I always do when I, take my make off. While I'm doing this, I was gonna say that I edited the like haul, like the Ulta haul that you guys already saw. Oh my God, this was really smooth. And I do think that the oil like roller ball thing, I do think it works. Cause I could tell when I was editing. So, I mean, I feel like I have to use it more, but I feel like it's kind of a cool thing to have. This feels so nice on my skin, like, so nice. I do feel like I need a little more though. Also, it's probably echoey in here and the lighting is probably not good, but what am I gonna do? It's a bathroom. I'm gonna do my eyes. Wait, is this supposed to go over your eyes? Yeah, okay. It is. I just rinse that off and I wash my face with Cetaphil as well, just because I always do. But I really like that. I will definitely keep using that. Although they totally should have made it so that you can stick this spatula like in here. But the spatula is too big. So you can't like close it with it on, do you know what I mean? That would have been some smart packaging, I'm just saying. I just put the rest of my skincare on off camera, but I wanted to put these on. Although my dilemma, or what I was thinking is like, I don't know where these go in your routine. I guess you could do them in the morning, like before your skincare. But I was thinking like, if you do these at night, do you do it after all your skincare is on? Or are they gonna slip off? That's what I was just thinking. So if you know the answer to that, please let me know. If I can get this thing open, that'd be great. There's this little spatula. You're supposed to like lift off just one. Wait, make sure I'm doing this right. Oh my God, they're so wet. Okay, because the thick part goes on the outer side. Oh, I got two, oops. Oh, I got three. Oh, they're way thinner than I thought, okay. Oh my God, they're so cold. They feel kind of amazing. I don't know if that looks right. Like it's not going like directly under my eye. This is way too up close and personal, but I have like large eyes. I guess it's kind of how the picture looks. Okay, that's one then. Let's do number two. Oh, it feels so nice. They're so cooling. I'm gonna walk out and Yusuf's gonna be like, are you doing okay? They do feel really nice. Like they're very cooling, like I said, and they just feel very relaxing, but they're definitely slipping down a tiny bit. I need to go lay on the couch. Yusuf and I are gonna watch Love Island and I will pick this back up tomorrow when I'm building that stuff in my Kia. So I'll see you tomorrow. And hello, hello, it's the next day. We're gonna build this thing. I just brought it into the office. Yusuf just went to the gym and I'm gonna attempt to build this on my own. On my own. Some of the reviews said it was a little bit tricky. So we're gonna try. I have my drill and my toolkit. Yes, it's a little pink one. That's what I got. And we're gonna attempt this. The boxes are really, really heavy so I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this alone, but we're gonna try because I'm impatient and I don't wanna wait. So, also I never film in this room, like ever. I actually don't think I've ever like sat down and filmed in this room because I don't really ever come in here, to be honest. Yusuf's desk is in here, mine's obviously in our bedroom. It's just like really high, but you're on the windowsill. It's kind of the only place I got. I'm also already hot, like I'm already sweating. So that's, we're off to a good start. There we go. We oh got so far from this camera, but we're gonna organize all of the pieces. You got like this gray, like dark gray color, by the way, which typically, oh my God, the lighting is so bad. Typically is not like my cup of tea, the dark gray. I'm more of like a lighter furniture gal as me, although. But I thought the gray could be nice. I just thought it'd be cool to switch it up. And then we have like a light carpet in here. The one that used to be in our bedroom is now in here. So I thought that, I don't know. I just went with the gray. It was either gray or white and i figured the gray would be nice i don't know 
Maybe I'll regret that. Okay, everything is unpacked. Well, the big box. We have the two small boxes back there, and those two uh, things are the mattress. I don't know how comfy that's gonna be, but we're gonna speed through this and see how long this takes to build. Wait. <laughs> I don't know if the screws. Oh no. They must be one of these. Why would they do that? That's so stupid. Okay, we're gonna open these real quick off camera. We are gonna do the rest of this off camera. I haven't even done that much and it's taking so long. So you will see this when it is all done. Yeah, no, I was gonna do a cute transition and this is taking forever, so it's not happening. I will finish building that, or Yusuf and I will finish building it tomorrow. He was just trying to help me with it, but we're like, I don't know if we're missing screws or something. I know like Ikea is, I don't know, this is a terrible angle. I know that Ikea is typically really good with like, I feel like you never end up like missing stuff in the IKEA boxes in terms of like screws and stuff, but we are both hardcore struggling with that. So we're just gonna finish it um, like tomorrow or something instead. But I wanted to hop on quickly and end off this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just realized my spice cabinet is open. But um, don't forget to check out PD Paula. You can use my code Sarah15 for 15% off. Thank you to them again for sponsoring today's video. My hair is a mess. I've said that in every single video recently, I know. And I will see you in the next video.